at Stratify here and today we're going to all go over the function of a push type bypass valve. So <clears throat> the bypass valve plays a very important role in your turbocharge engine and I think uh, a lot of people misunderstand its role and misunderstand its function so we're going to cover that here. Um, first of all let's go over your basic turbocharger setup. Starts with your air filter after the air filter, there's an inlet pipe that leads to your compressor inlet of the turbocharger. In this inlet pipe, in a lot of uh, modern cars, you have a mass airflow sensor. This sensor measures the amount of air going into the, to, into the turbocharger and uh, that tells the ECU how much fuel to deliver. After that, the air is compressed here by the turbocharger. It passes through an intercooler. Usually, the, air is, the cooled air that is still under pressure is then passed through into your manifold and engine through your throttle body. Now what happens is that the bypass valve is a device that has two chambers to it. One chamber is connected to your manifold after the throttle body, the top chamber, and the bottom chamber sees pressure from your charge piping in front of your throttle body. So there's a valve here and that valve is held shut under boost operation but the valve opens and relieves excess air when you lift off the throttle. So let's see why that's important. When you are under full boost and uh, your turbocharger is pushing a lot of air through here, your engine is consuming that air, your throttle body is open and your car is generating power. However, as soon as you lift off, this throttle plate closes. When this throttle plate closes, you've now created two separate chambers between this chamber, your charge piping and your turbocharger, and this chamber, which is your manifold and your engine. And the manifold gets pulled under vacuum. However, your turbocharger is still spinning and it's pushing air up against this closed wall. This creates a very large spike of pressure in your charge piping, and this is what causes compressor surge. Compressor surge is damaging for your turbocharger and if you continuously do it, eventually you'll have to replace it. Because of that, we have this bypass valve. So once again, imagine that you've just closed your throttle plate and now you've got vacuum here at the manifold and a lot of pressure here. So the diaphragm inside the bypass valve means that this chamber at the very top of the valve will see a lot of vacuum and this chamber at the bottom of the valve will see um, a lot of pressure, a lot of boost pressure. That causes a pressure imbalance and that lifts this piston. By lifting the piston you then allow the excess air, the one that's causing too much pressure and potentially causing surge, to be released. And on math-based cars the released air gets put into the charge piping after the mass airflow sensor because your mass airflow sensor has already measured and calculated the amount of air going in. If you release this to atmosphere or vent to atmosphere, which uh, a lot of people enjoy due to the noise it makes, uh, then your car will run rich with a mass airflow sensor. So overall, the bypass valve uh, or the blowout valve, usually referred to when it's vented to atmosphere, is a very useful device. It's necessary in street-driven turbocharged cars. And um, if you do want to release this to atmosphere and have that, that sound, there is a way to do it and we're going to discuss uh, that in the following video. Thanks for watching, Alex at Stratify.